Hello, beautiful women. I'm back. I'm Jenny Jo Allen of JennyClairvoyant.com. And today I'm going to be talking about some of the um, relationship and boundaries issues that have been coming up with my clients um, this week uh, leading up to the full moon, which happened today, this morning. So, um, yeah, the, the boundaries and, um, having to do with relationships and how, um, you know, there are boundaries that we, uh, need to establish and maintain, and it's not just establishing them. You have to actually keep establishing them over and over and over again in order for them to be effective. So, um, one of the things that I've been taking my clients through recently is I've, I've had three clients this week with um, similar needs. And um, so it's been really identifying what's going on in the brain, the, the messages that are happening, the, um, the underlying subconscious um, insidious messages about whatever we're lacking, whatever is going on in our system, the all the past, um, all those messages that just got stuck in there all our through our lives, depending on how many years you've lived, there could be a lot of them in there. So um, really identifying those and because I do energy work, I was identifying them energetically. So I was able to, with helpers, um, I had some great angels on my team this, this week and um, we were able to really start to identify exactly which neurons were firing with which messages and isolate those messages and then after some time, cordon them off into a section of the brain and it always went to the back of the brain. So it was like all the, the new information was happening up here in the front and all the old stuff back there in the back. Um, that's just the way that it ended up each time. So um, recognizing and identifying and there's this process that I've been using where um, the identification happens with love. It happens with this acknowledgement. So you're, you're actually giving attention, conscious attention to each of those thoughts, which are energy, our whole bodies are energy. Our minds are just like all energy, the firing neurons, that's all energy. So identifying those and acknowledging them. There's something about being acknowledged that it relieves this tension and stress around needing to be acknowledged. And those kinds of persistent um, demoralizing and um, you know unflattering thoughts that keep coming up over and over and over again, they really just need to be said hello to like um, identify, identify them, acknowledge them, say, hey, I hear you, I see you, I understand your origins, or even if you don't understand your origins, it's enough to just say, I see you, and I acknowledge that you have been a part of my life, and now we're, we're letting this go to the back. We're putting this out of the forefront so that it's not right there in front of you, like always being this view that you look through of whatever those disempowering thoughts are. I'm not good enough, I'm not skinny enough, I'm not, you know, whatever. Whatever those disempowering thoughts are, I'm not allowed to feel, whew, that was a big one for me. I am not safe in my knowing. Ooh, another really big one for me. I don't know what they are for you, but identifying those ones and acknowledging them and just giving them some, some love, giving them some, um, some, some appreciation or just even some, just acknowledgement is enough. Um, and that it, it creates this disconnect, this ability to disconnect from it so that it's not driving your whole life. It's not driving the show. It's becomes more and more in the background. And so part of the process that I've been taking some of my clients through this week is, really going in energetically deep, deep, deep work and with the angels and un 
unhooking the energetic hooks that are that are attached to those um, thoughts and feelings. It's the feelings that get attached to those that really hook in and sort of um, greasing those roots and bringing them up and loosening them and helping them go to the back so that and cordoned off. I mean, I mean, there's been a line drawn and then there's been a wall and the walls, you know, and then there's been, you know, at one with one of my clients that was embracing those in this container. Um, there are, there, you know, it's different for each person what works and what, um, what will be the most powerful, but, um, and I just allowed the vision to come, whatever that is. So for you, what I could recommend is if you can just take a few minutes to make a list of um, the kinds of feelings that feel disempowering and try to trace them back to a thought or um, some kind of a memory that caused you to feel that way and then see if there was some kind of message underneath there that you can dredge up and just writing it down on a piece of paper and being able to look at it is kind of freeing actually because then you can go wow I did not really fully realize that that's what was driving the show here in my life and then take a minute to just acknowledge it just say I see you and that acknowledgement should loosen it up enough that you can just sort of um, intentionally allow it to move to the back of the of your brain and if you need to create a container or you know this is just like a visual container visualize a container or um, feel what if what a container would feel like and have those be in that container and then ask for help you can ask your angels for help angels guides um, you know glowing light beings whoever you connect with God yeah um, ask for some help with uh, while you're sleeping or right there in that moment open up a little window or a doorway way back there in the back once you have a whole bunch back there and ask them to just like pull that out just whoosh, pull it out pull it right out and whoosh, let it blow away whoosh, go up into the heavens so that it can be released because it's just energy it's not energy you want to keep, but it could be released up into the heavens for the highest and best good of all, transformed into something wonderful for somebody else or just for the cosmos. Um, okay, so yeah, so that's my great tip for today of um, how to how to not let the the boundaries that we keep getting run over over and over and over again because of those underlying messages getting in the way of us keeping those boundaries strong um, so that's the process of getting those messages and the the filter that you look through every day that's running the show out of your way so that you can clearly know what it is that you want to create what you want to bring into your life and that will totally revolutionize your whole concept of boundaries because then as soon as you become clear boundaries become so much easier it's just like it's just like you know fluid once once you're clear about what it is that you want because then you don't have to struggle to identify what the boundaries are you're just totally clear and you don't have all that backlog of stuff crowding in in front of you um, you know, run in your show, run in your life. So, okay. Um, if you've enjoyed this video and you're interested in learning more, go ahead and click the link to join my group. It's called Connected Soul Healing, and it's for intuitive, empathic, and psychic women who are on a spiritual path of really, you know, like trying to open themselves up, like what I just. Um, brought you through today uh, or if you're ready to just go ahead and work with me and you want to do that you can leave a little comment in the comments saying um, I'm ready to work with you or um, and then I'll just message you back or you can uh, send me an email 
It's jennyclairvoyant at gmail.com. And um, you can also go to my website, jennyclairvoyant.com. All right. Have a fabulous day. Now that the moon has gone through its intense period of lifting up, waxing, you should be, things should be a lot smoother and calmer for the next couple of weeks. All right. Super. Have a great day.